get it and uh, now I will show you how to uh, initialize the boss installation on a name client just say smitty name perform name administration task in the in a name server after the initial configuration whatever you do you define a resource you define a machine you do operation on a machine whatever it is you mostly perform under this uh, menu item that is perform name administration task over here oh, okay manage machines and here you have to select the perform operations on a machine now you got to select which machine you want to do operation I have only two machines one is master and one is client one uh, here I am selecting client one and these are the different type of operations you can perform on a machine on a name client for example if you want to boot your name client uh, in a uh, using a diagnostic image you have to select this first option and uh, if you want to do some co software customization go for the second option uh, if you want to do a AX installation using network you select the third option and if you want to go for a software maintenance go for the main option so basically this main op option you select when you forget the password or roots password or when the file systems root file systems got corrupted or um, when the log device got uh, corrupted or when a super block got corrupted or something like that normally what we do we boot uh, the machine using the CD and we go to the recovery mode and go to maintenance mode and uh, we run FSC and all, all those kind of things in a name environment you cannot boot with a CD so normally we um, we uh, change the current state of a uh, name client uh, to the maintenance mode and then we boot it using uh, the network and we go to the maintenance mode and do FSC and all those kind of stuff and uh, if uh, client's state is in maintenance mode and if you want to reset the state you select this option reset and if you want to go perform some queries on the installed fixes that is apars you select this option and uh, when you want to check the status of a uh, name client you go for the check op option if you want to reboot the machine you can go for this uh, reboot option a little lot of things over here so we select boss underscore inst that is the basic operating system installation We have another method where we use smitty name underscore boss inst. Uh, this is the most commonly used uh, way, or you can say a method for a uh, uh, for initializing the boss installation on an in client. Here we have selected a machine in the first screen, and in the second screen, it is asking what. Uh, type of installation you want to do. Uh, normally we select option 1 or 2. The option 1 is uh, RTE that is uh, if you want to install it from uh, installation source that is like a file set based installation. The second option is MKSSB. Uh, when you want to restore a MKSSB image like in case of any disasters you might want to restore the uh, MKSSB image on a, uh, on a machine so at the time you select this uh, second option that's MKSSP uh, here I'm going to select only RTE that is uh, file set based installation so when you select RTE you need to select two resources uh, one is LPP source and one is spot and when you select MKSSP you need to select two resources that is MKSSP and spot so spot is common for both of them and if you go for RTE that is LPP source and for MKSSP you have to select the MKSSP resource since we selected uh, RTE it is asking for the LPP source 
if you have multiple LP source LPP sources then you need to select the uh, correct one here we got only one LPP source so I'm just selecting that one and the spot again we got only one spot um, this was created in this machine so I'm selecting this it's an AX5.3 TL5 spot and also keep in mind when you select the LPP source of AX5 TL5 the spot should also be at the same level if it's in a different level then you just the client might not boot or anything can happen maybe it will stop you know installation in between so we selected the machine name and the type is RT and the spot and LPP source Here the most important thing is you need to accept the license and uh, here initiate reboot and installation now if I say yes it will reboot the machine if it will reboot the client machine and suppose instead of the instead of client one if it reboots some other protection machine it will be a problem you know for us so what we do we normally say no for this question that is initiate reboot and maintain installation now we say no over here and after initializing it we go to the client machine and put it in SMS mode select the network adapter configure the IP and put it over the network adapter that's how it works and uh, okay we have selected this and the rest of the things if you want you can select or just leave it as default mm, okay if you want to select any other resources like resolve conf resource or image data or boss INST data you can select it and if you have any script that you want to run after the first reboot you can select that uh, script resource in my system I don't have any script or boss INST data or image or data resource so I'm just saying pressing enter now with the default options so this will uh, assign the LPP source and spot to the client uh, as well as it will uh, initiate the boss boot a uh, boss installation and then after this you have to verify whether it is initialized or not boss installation is initialized or not and if it is initialized then you can go to your client machine and boot it in SMS mode and do the rest of the things Now it's completed. So let us see the state of client one. Here you can see the LPP source, pod, and E1 and name script is assigned. And the current state, this is the most important thing to check. Boss installation has been enabled. Okay. Now, suppose if you have changed your mind, you don't want to install the uh, OS on the client, then you can always reset the state of the name client using name hyphen or reset command now you can see the current state is ready for a name operation so so basically you need to know only two commands in name that is ls name and name if you are strong enough to work on ls name and name commands then you can do anything using these two commands